my first recommendation today is a book called Rebel Ideas by Matthew Syed. And I'd actually seen Rebel Ideas knocking around on, particularly on the islands in Waterstones. So they have these tables at the center of the bookshelves where they will showcase particular styles or genres of books. And I'd seen Rebel Ideas there. I'd also seen it knocking around on Amazon as well. But if I'm being completely honest, I've never felt entirely compelled to buy it. What happened is that I eventually saw it on offer uh, on Amazon. I think it was about six quid and it was just too good uh, a deal to refuse. They got me. I'm really glad that I picked it up in the end. Rebel Ideas is about the importance of diverse thinking in organizations and other groups of people. Matthew covers a number of ways in which a lack of cognitive diversity can really negatively affect the performance of a group. And the book is filled with plenty of real life examples of the damage that this lack of diversity can do. Alongside those are explanations as to why diversity is so important and how we can foster it in our group or organizational workplace. To pick out one specific part of the book, I'm gonna show you a couple of diagrams now that demonstrate the difference between the work that can be done in a less diverse situation and a more diverse situation. Imagine that this first diagram represents the space of possible solutions to a problem. With just one individual involved, his or her expertise might give one specific solution. So as a manager, a founder, or I guess, just a boss, we might think, cool, let's hire more people to increase our chances of solving the problem. This is how a lot of companies end up looking, unfortunately. People who get on well together tend to have similar interests, backgrounds, etc. And all of them might be really clever, but if they're too similar, we're still only covering a corner of the possible solution space. In the next diagram, diversity comes to save the day. By hiring people with different backgrounds, cultures, areas of strength and interest, we vastly improve the group's chance of coming up with a solution. So Matthew makes it clear early on in the book that what we're specifically looking for is cognitive diversity. But he also reveals that actually cognitive diversity and cultural diversity, which is what we kind of think of usually when someone says diversity, are highly correlated, which can only be a good thing. You know, it's good for us all to mix together. It's good to us for us to develop better relations between different cultures, races, countries, towns, cities, whatever. I should note quickly that what I covered there with the reproduction of those diagrams in the book only really represents basic diversity science. Matthew goes into way more detail and Rebel Ideas is way more than just the basics. He really delves deeply into the different ways that a lack of diversity can harm groups, but also how improving the amount or increasing the amount of diversity can really have a positive effect on the achievement of companies and just generally groups of people. Some of the things that he talks about specifically in the book are the danger of dominance hierarchies, recombinant innovation, or just innovation in general. I always know that it's recombinant because I like the idea of recombinant innovation. I wrote a post about that actually, which I will put in the description. He also goes into detail about the difference between echo chambers and information bubbles, which I found so interesting. I'm thinking of doing an entire video dedicated, dedicated, <laughs> dedicated to that topic alone. I really, really enjoyed Rebel Ideas, so much so that it has inspired a whole new project that I'm thinking about doing. I won't reveal any secrets now, but just keep your eyes open in the future. And I guess I'll reveal when I make the project that this was inspired by Rebel Ideas and the importance of diversity. But there we go. Uh, Rebel Ideas is a relatively cheap book. You can grab it on Amazon and it's just packed with really interesting information about diversity and actionable advice as well, which is always a big plus for a book.